Hey everyone, this is DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you the new features with Windows 8.1. If you haven't updated yet, go ahead and click the link in the description down below and it'll take you to a video that shows you how to update. Anyway, let's get started. Now with the Windows 8.1 update, we've gone through a couple of changes. Some are better than others. Personally, the only two that I was really focused on or really looking forward to was having the start menu back as well as being able to disable that annoying charms bar. And I've got videos on how to disable the charms bar if you want to check those out in the description. So first off, let's take a look at this new start menu here. So from the Metro screen, just going to the bottom left, you'll be able to bring up a start menu and it has a little Windows icon. So by clicking on that, it'll take you to your desktop. And if you click on it from your desktop, it'll take you back to the Metro screen. Now, unfortunately, this isn't the traditional start menu we were used to with the older versions of Windows. But if you do right click on it, you will be able to access some great settings here. Some of them like control panel and the search setting. Also being able to shut down and sign up out of your computer is nice but if you do want that traditional start menu I have a link in the description down below it'll take you to a video I show you how to get the traditional start menu back another feature I was really happy to see with the 8.1 update was the ability to remove that annoying charms bar that a lot of people hated now in one of the settings you're able to disable the corner swipe so if I turn that off you no longer have the charms bar appearing at the top right you can also turn off the recent apps which is on the top left here I use this quite a bit Bit, but if you don't you can turn that off so none of the corners really do anything unfortunately the bottom right corner still brings up the charms bar however a lot of people don't really scroll down to that section so it's not that big of a deal if you want the full instructional video on how to disable this I will put that link in the description down below I posted that just a few days ago moving forward we'll get back to the Metro screen here you might notice that the applications now have a new size this one here being the wide angle size but if you right click on them you can actually resize them to an even larger size so if you do have like a sports application that you really follow a lot you can make that a little bit larger get a bigger angle of the image like this one right here if I resize it you'll get even more content that it's posting out because it is a news feed along with the new sizes of the applications comes the ability to personalize the background a little bit more than you would in the past so in the personalized section here, you can see we've got some new backgrounds here, and these are interesting. A few of them actually move when you scroll across. So I've got this nice red one here, and if I scroll across my applications, you see that it's sort of turning in the background there with the applications as I scroll. It's pretty nice that they have that. You can also access the personalized section here in the charms bar and then go to settings and then personalize. So there's a few new backgrounds. You can actually even use the background that you have on your desktop if you want. You've got some new colors, different hues that you can choose from if you wanna really customize the background to fit exactly what you wanna see. And like I said, you can use the background you have on your desktop if you just wanna make everything one. The next added feature is actually one that involves the applications and Windows really focuses on the applications for this update. So underneath your applications, you have this arrow here. Now, if you're running a touch screen, you can pretty much just swipe down on the touch screen and it'll take you to all the apps in your system. So basically here, you've got all the apps that Windows has pre-installed on your desktop, as well as some applications that you've installed. Like you can see, I've got WinZip here and some other applications here on the other side. You can scroll through them just by scrolling with your mouse, or if you have a touch screen, just by swiping across. So it's sort of organizing things a little bit better with this update. And then to go back, you just click on the up and it'll take you back to your Metro screen. Another feature which is really dependent on the resolution of your screen allows you to view multiple applications on one page. So if I got my sports application here, I can go to my applications and insert another one and view them at these sizes. Now you can view up to four different applications at a time if your resolution can handle that. Unfortunately, this computer is pretty old and can't handle more than two right now. So if you do have a good computer when you get a high resolution, you can probably get four applications in there. But uh, unfortunately, again, I can only show you two. But that is a good feature to have, especially if you like running multiple applications or doing multitasking and having everything open at once. Now, if you ever use the charm search here, it would bring up the applications on your computer as well as files and various things like that. Well, now, if you do a search, it'll actually pull up Bing searches as well. So I'm going to go ahead and search for all games in tech. That way that file comes up. 
So as you can see on the left side, we've got our files and folders that have all games and tech involved with it. But also on the right side here, if we keep scrolling, we've got Bing searches, which we can go ahead and click on. It'll open up in our browser. And then you can see what has to do with whatever you were searching. So if you want to do a quick Bing search, that might be a good idea as well. This is a pretty good feature and not too crazy. I'm sure a lot of people won't really use it too much, but it is good that it's there. Moving back to the Metro screen, the store has gone through a little bit of a change. Mostly the look of the store has changed. We've now got a section on the right side that says picks for you based on the things that you've downloaded in the past or your history. You've also got some features on the left side here that have changed and you can scroll through them and look at that. But if you scroll to the right side here, you've got the trending applications. You've got new and rising applications, the top paid and the top free. So it's gone through some changes here to make things a little bit easier. If you do use the Windows App Store, you can also search at the top right, which was usually there anyway but it's good change uh, not too much that's going to affect me personally this is one of the lower end changes i don't really use the windows store too much at all Another application that's gone through more of a design change than anything else is the Xbox Music app. I never used this personally, but from what I'm reading, it was actually a tiled application. Now you've got a menu on the left side. Again, it looks clean, so it should make things a little bit easier, a little bit more smoother to run through. The last feature we're going to talk about involves the Photos application, and the change is not too big. If you're now in a photo and you right-click, you can access an editing feature here, which allows you to change the filters of your images, as well as change up things on the left side. It's pretty good especially if you take a lot of photos anyway guys that's pretty much it they did do some changes to the sky drive unfortunately i don't have an account or anything so i'm not really going to get into that too much if you want check it out for yourself let me know what you think of it what do you think of the windows 8.1 update right now did it solve a lot of the problems you had like with the start menu as well as the charms bar what was the real issue that you had with windows 8 and uh, did windows 8.1 correct it let me know in the comments down below subscribe if you haven't done so already i post videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on everything to do with tech. Hit that like button as it helps me out a lot. Thanks for watching once again. I will see you in the next one.